I'm KD Weeks, and I'm honored to be the editor in chief of the CardioSource Clinical Community on Sleep Apnea and Cardiovascular Disease. I've been a fellow of the American College of Cardiology for more than 30 years, practicing cardiology in Charlotte, North Carolina. During the past decade, I became aware of the tremendous overlap of cardiovascular disease with obstructive sleep apnea. After intensive study and subsequent certification, I now dedicate most of my time treating patients with both disorders. A partial list of the disorders which overlap are hypertension, particularly refractory hypertension, coronary artery disease, where half of your patients in the coronary care unit will test positive for sleep apnea, atrial fibrillation, where obstructive sleep apnea doubles the risk of atrial fib, stroke, particularly in women and elderly women in particular, heart failure, where structural and functional reactions to chronic recurrent hypoxemia and wide catecholamine swings results in depressed ejection fraction. Pulmonary hypertension, where large intrathoracic negative pressures produce vasoconstriction and elevated pulmonary pressures and subsequent right heart dysfunction. And of course, patent foramenal valley with the right to left shunting. There are barriers to referral of patients with sleep apnea to laboratories and sleep specialists. Cardiologists, when surveyed, report that they are confident in detecting but not managing sleep apnea patients. In addition, cardiologists express poor satisfaction with therapies such as CPAP and the cost of therapy. Over the next few months, I'll be working with my associate editor, Dr. Sean Caples, to present educational data to our audience through article reviews, case reports, late-breaking scientific studies, videos, and more on this community. I hope you will come back often to review these offerings. Thank you.